Hey guys, hey YouTube. I just want to start today's video by saying an absolutely massive thank you to all of the new subscribers who have recently uh, managed to take my subscriber count to over 14,000, uh, which I am absolutely thrilled about. And I just want to thank all of you guys very, very much because without your support, I certainly wouldn't be making these videos and carrying on the work that I do on my channel. So while I was thanking you guys, you probably noticed this great big, very, very large, very thick brown coin. Um, this is one of the best tuppany pieces, cartwheel tuppany pieces you will probably ever see ever. It's pretty much the top graded coin in the whole world. And it is the pride of a friend of mine uh, over on Facebook. And this is, it's a great, I mean, it's a great big thick chunk of copper minted in 1797. And it is a proof coin, which is incredibly rare. Most of the ones you see uh, are in pretty bad condition, but this one has just been graded by NGC with proof 65, which is absolutely wonderful. Okay, so the next one we've got here, some of these I think are uh, mechanicals that have come back. What is a mechanical? A mechanical is a, a cock-up. Sometimes it's uh, an NGC cock-up, sometimes something else is wrong, but these are coins that have been um, dealt with and uh, by NGC free of charge. Um, they, if they make a mistake, they will do something about it. Uh, if the label is wrong, if there's damage to the slab, if they've forgotten to do something that you paid for, they will always put that right free of charge. And in this case, they, although this is a clean coin, a bit polished, polished up coin, it's an 1891 short tail uh, sovereign. And the short tail is a very, very rare variety, but they hadn't put that on the coin. Um, this next one arrived and the uh, slab was a little bit broken, so it went back to have it re-slabbed, and that was really nice. That's got the Mexico label, and that one got a 70 or 2015. There is a brand new group on Facebook. If you do a search on Libertad Lovers, you will find a brand new group to join of all the people who absolutely love Mexican Libertads. This one went in and it was, I think, the label said eight, uh, 1988 and it was a 1996 coin. So that one has been changed. This one uh, is a quarter sovereign, which is the, uh, the littlest, dinkiest little sovereign the Royal Mint make. However, the label previously said half a sovereign. So the label was wrong, had to go back and be reholdered with the right label. What was this one? I can't remember whether what this one, what the problem was with this one. Maybe nothing. Maybe this one just got graded, um, or maybe this was a cross grade with PCGS. I need to look that one up. But either way, a sixty-two is pretty nice. It's an Australian sovereign minted in Melbourne in nineteen o two. Very very nice. Edward the seventh. This one. Now, what was the problem with this one? This one also came back for a reason. Maybe it went came in back with the wrong label, or maybe there wasn't a GB label on it, and there should have been, and they had to reholder it and put the GB label on. But basically, you know, if they do make a mistake, um, they do come clean. They do admit when they make a mistake. They will try and put it right. Sometimes it's a kind of joint effort, and there's extra postage involved. Uh, sometimes they'll pay for postage, uh, but generally they do a pretty good job of putting right things that go wrong during the grading process. Okay, so this one, this is a 2014 half, uh, half ounce one. There was something wrong with this. I think maybe the coin was tilted. Um, it went back, it came back once, then went back again, and, uh, and they put that one right. This one is interesting, unique probably, and interesting. Uh, I wanted this 
put into the Regal collection. It previously said one of the first 150 minted. And when they put the pedigree on, they kept the original dealer label. This came from one of the big dealers who uh, maybe MCM or something like that over in the States. And uh, they actually took the um, one of the first 150 off and they reholded these with the original label and the pedigree on them as well. So before we carry on with this, let's hear a little bit of a word from Coin Connection. There are going to be two Royal Mint launches, probably my guess is next week. So you can use the discount coupon, uh, the code Keith, to make pre-orders for the new Royal Mint issues. If you're thinking about buying the kind of coins you'd normally buy at the Royal Mint, there is an alternative. Why not try Coin Connection, the company that wraps your gold in beautiful pink tissue paper? 2% off during July with checkout code Keith. That's checkout code Keith. Welcome back to part two of Numistaka Mega Results unboxing of coins that have come back from grading at NGC, one of the premier uh, companies for professional coin grading. Uh, the other one is PCGS, but both uh, companies have a great reputation. And these have been to NGC, they've come back again, and we can go through and see what success the, uh, the people who submitted them have had. The success, as always, is variable. Mostly it's pretty good. Mostly it's like the coin on the left, a PF70. Occasionally it's like the coin on the right, a PF69. Please don't ask me why the coin on the right had a golden jubilee in lowercase and the other one in uppercase. Makes no sense. And this one, the two sovereign in uppercase. If they're gonna do three coins in a set, they need to make sure that the case is the same across all of them for the same year. That's just um, a bit silly, but maybe not quite silly enough to send it back for mechanical, um, you know, mechanical um, repair, regrading, relabeling, etc., etc. So sometimes I send coins in, and they come back with one of these stickers on the back. It's normally uh, not a bad thing. Um, it's not the coin itself, nothing wrong with the coin itself. But sometimes you ask NGC to um, reholder and conserve coins that they think won't really benefit from being touched. Or they may, maybe, maybe they're toned, maybe they'll lose a little bit of the toning if they then uh, get messed around with by NCS. If that's the case, they'll come with one of these little labels on the back and an explanation. So this one, somebody asked this. It's a very nice proof coin, a half sovereign PR64, and they asked for it to be cross-graded and then conserved. And uh, they didn't cross-grade it, um, it, so it didn't fail its cross-grading, but they said that it wouldn't benefit from being conserved. I think sometimes they get those kind of things wrong, because um, I did ask for it to be cross-graded and they didn't um, tell me whether or not it would have cross-graded or they didn't even try to cross-grade it. Uh, and they really, they should have actually given a little bit even a better explanation than that one. Okay, so here is a kind of unfortunate um, grade. This one is not good. 68s on modern coins are never, never something which is good. Um, I can't remember whether this one went to NCS uh, or whether it just went to NGC for grading, but not, not very good. This one, on the other hand, is very good. Um, these have been selling at around um, between 1,050 and 1,150 or so uh, online. Uh, good market for those, mainly because the mintage of those is only so, uh, 400. Here's a great example. This one did go to NCS, so maybe the first one went as well. But this one was in a handled, cruddy, nasty condition when it went in, and it's come out a 69. So it's a one onza that uh, was bought 
basically you know, had a low price because it had so much handling. But after conservation, it came back as a stunningly beautiful coin uh, with no physical damage and just all that handling taken away. Pandas, don't forget about pandas. Lots of interesting varieties. This one is uh, one of those nice kind of older years uh, where they have different varieties. This is the mirrored bamboo variety, which I think is um, more expensive and valuable than the frosted bamboo variety. The Mary Rose, um, a two pound gold, two pound piece, around about half an ounce of gold. Uh, not one that I see very often. Uh, I don't know whether this one was fairly low mintage. You should watch out, incidentally, for the mintages or the sales on some of these two pound commemoratives. There are quite a few of them over the years that have been released, and some of the mintages and sales on them are pretty low, and it's, may, it's worth taking a look and spot picking up some of the ones that are actually are a little bit rarer, uh, and you can do that. I mean, some of them are even as low as two or three hundred coins, and maybe have been overlooked, could potentially be those sleeping gems for the future. Um, and I think collecting £2 commemoratives has gone up a little bit. I wouldn't say it's amazingly popular, but I'm noticing quite a few people focusing on the uh, the bargain that is sometimes the double sovereign or the two pound commemorative, that particular size of coin. Here's one of the original uh, big 50p's, a lot of gold in this, probably three quarters of an ounce of gold or so from uh, 1994. And that did well, really well. This is one you don't see very often. There are quite a few of these sets around. They're made, minted by the, uh, the Pop Joy Mint in the 70s for the Isle of Man. Um, they're normally not in great condition, so this one graded really, really well. Um, it was conserved because it, it had lots of old haze on from being in a, uh, a box for a lot of years. A One Sovereign Proof, another PF70. I must have graded loads and loads. Probably most of the ones that are in the populations um, seem to have probably gone through and been featured on these videos for some of these special year sovereigns. And, uh, well, I should probably just say stay silent for this last few coins, because this is not something you will see every day. A set of 1989 coins, conserved and graded, and every one has come back as 70. Um, the five sovereign in 70 is really unusual and a very, very, very good result um, and uh, adds quite a large amount of value to those coins, actually. Um, I think just a five sovereign on its own in 70, uh, you see them going for over £5,000. So that's a real, real coup to get the 70. Hope you like that. There'll be more mega results uh, unboxing videos along as soon as I can do them and uh, more to follow after that as well.